What are you trying to pull? Why aren't you down at breakfast? Well, I just thought we'd uh, make everyone downstairs think we were having a late morning in the... Uh... Oh, get real. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about Olivia. Don't you think you should be comforting me? Our deal is that you're supposed to be out of here by 8.30, Jake. Don't you want to make sure that the Corys buy this story? What I want is privacy. I'm getting sick of your attitude. You know something? You're gonna do something for me this morning. And if I don't? Then you'll be looking at me over your morning coffee for the rest of your life. It's okay, guys. Come on in, Vicky. Jerks. They tried to frisk me. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Where's Ryan? He with you? Well, he had to catch an early flight to Washington, so he sent me. Oh. Um, everything's okay, though. He just locked up Hutchins, right? Yeah, right. For now. Of course, Carl is calling in all his hotshot lawyers. So he's going down to see the feds for a little backup. He wants to talk to his contacts at the Bureau. I mean, they haven't exactly forgotten how Joe Barron just, you know, disappeared. Mm -hmm. They want these charges to stick as much as Ryan does. I really appreciate you filling me in on all this, Vicky. Oh, sure, sure. <clears throat> Actually, there was one other little reason that I stopped by. You see, Ryan thinks it would be really nice if... if I just stick around, you know, and help you keep your image up to snuff. Will I do? Excuse me? Ryan really thinks that you... Okay, try to think in terms of the traditional voter here. You see, Ryan thinks that you need to have a woman on your arm for all those swanky fundraisers and galas and... Obviously, I was the perfect candidate. Boy, I love it, Ryan. Now, Ryan thinks he knows what's best for me. Wonderful. Ouch. Okay, it's not such a bad idea. I mean, a woman's touch can't hurt. And then I could represent you at all those tedious luncheons and tea parties and... You. You're joking. Honey, I am totally serious. Stop loving you, Amanda. Never. No. No! Ah! Ah! Olivia, it's okay. You all right? Don't move your legs, it's okay. Just calm down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you stay all night? Yeah. How do you feel today? Stupid. My feet don't feel so numb, though. Let's see if my legs work this morning. No. Just keep them still. You're still in a lot of pain. Just. Only when I try to move. Well, then don't. You're supposed to be resting, right? Just... How? Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is myself falling over and over the and over. The only thing again. you should be thinking about is getting better. Okay? I guess I got a little overconfident last night. I wanted to ask you about that. 
I noticed too. Yeah. Jake told you not to dance full out for the dress rehearsal, but you were improvising. You were all over the place. Olivia, you gave the performance of your life. Why? So Michael's still trying to buy up the old warehouses along the waterfront, huh? He's more determined than ever, Spencer. He's already bid top dollar on those pathetic little sheds. He's throwing away the gold mine, Donna. Well, he says he wants to preserve the ethnic character of the area. He's going through some sort of a midlife ego crisis or something. I can't believe he got as far as he did by being such a bleeding heart. Well, I told him I don't see any return on those investments, and I told the same thing to the board of the Hudson Group. Does he need their approval to go ahead with this? If he wants to use company money, he does. All his personal funds are wrapped up in our divorce. And how long could you keep them that way? Indefinitely. Uh-huh. Well, uh, this has been a most enjoyable and enlightening breakfast, Donna. It's been my pleasure. Now, I really must go. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to get to the hospital before the reporters do. Oh, yes, I heard Grant was being released today. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting a crowd? With any luck, a mob scene. Oh, how exciting. I love politics, even from a distance. Oh, would you like a closer look? You could meet me there if you like. Oh, no, I'd be in the way. A beautiful woman like you, impossible. I'll meet you in the lobby. What time? By noon. Oh, good. I'll be there. Bridget! Oh, you were listening again. The cleaners just dropped these off for you. <sighs> you know, I heard you finagling an invitation with Mr. Harrison. I thought I handled that rather smoothly. Yes. <laughs> you always feel like that every time that you get it your own way. Well, let me take a look at you. Now, you cannot wear that. I mean, after all, dear, you're going to be on the telly. I know that. You don't really think I was too pushy. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, we all know that you're only interested in Mr. Ryan. Mr. Ryan's daddy is because it's business. Hmm? Might be more, now that Michael and I aren't together any longer. Yes, well, why don't you wear this, dear? Hmm? Oh. I've always loved this dress. I wore this with Michael to see La Boheme. Oh, well, what about this one? You know, this one's brand new. We had dinner between the acts, and afterward, we couldn't wait to get home. As a matter of fact, we didn't get home because Michael pulled the car off the road. <laughs> we just... Miss Donna, Stop. would you please, please, now, please. I hear enough of this talk from Victoria. Hmm? Oh, Bridget. What am I going to do? I've forgotten how to be single. I'm well enough to work if I work at my own pace. Okay, okay. I'll stop arguing with you. Good. Fax me anything that looks interesting. <laughs> Okay. Just promise me you're not going to push yourself too hard, I right? promise you that I won't push myself too hard. Anyway, I will feel better if I work. And isn't that Allie out there? She's just so <laughs> eager to get going. She's really excited about starting nursery school again. Sam and I, we're going to take her together. What? Uh, he's still at the hospital. He spent the night there? He was worried about Olivia. We all were. What have you heard? No, but uh, as of last night, it didn't seem good. I'm going to stop by later and see how she is. Well, tell her that we're all thinking of her. Okay, I will. Did this change things between you and Sam? I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Okay? All right, darling. Bye. Hi, Michael. Hey, Amanda. Uh, Hilda said your mother was out here? Yeah, out on the terrace. Great, thank you, Amanda. Hey. Hi. How are you? Well, you look great. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling much better. Ryan arrested Carl last night. Yeah, I know. Victoria told me. Although it's what we've been waiting for. 
His lawyers are probably working to spring him as we speak. Well, they haven't succeeded yet. Yeah, I know. Maybe the judge won't give him bail this time. You can pray for it. Yeah, I know. Because I'll be key witness for the state. That's what we were afraid of, Rachel. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, he threatened my children. Well, he's out of commission for the moment. He'll get out, Michael. He always does. And then what am I supposed to do? Then you let the police do their job. And you do what you do. Take care of your family. I know. I'm really sick of putting up a brave front, you know? Well, you don't have to do that in front of me. I know. It's a big relief. Thank you. Rachel, you just got out of the hospital. You're supposed to avoid stress. Don't let Carl interfere with your life. Don't help him out. Can't stay in there all day. I'm in here. You hold your jets, Jake. Damn it, Polina. You need to get Rachel to sign that inheritance papers today. Jake, it's too soon. She'll figure out that we're running a scam. Well, what do you want to do? Wait until the bottom drops out of the video, Mark? We can't look like we're desperate. Well, at least there we have a reason to push for the money. Yeah, well, I already got a good reason. Oh, save it, Jake. Cass thinks of a lower life form than a slug, and he's the one who has to put the legal papers through. Well, he's an attorney. He doesn't make the final decision. He advises Rachel, and they're both smarter than you are. Jake, we have to hold out for just a few more it's weeks. It's going to look more suspicious if we sit around with our thumbs up. If we sit around waiting for a big, fat check, it's not our style. Our style? And what is that? We sold Rachel in this marriage by making her believe that we were crazy for the American dream. We're not just going to stop at a wedding. We want it all. In fact, we need, we need a bigger place. What, now you want to build an addition? Of course not. I want a home. Oh, that's why we need the money. You see, we can play this up. Huh? We can get interior designers. We can get real estate people. I mean, who knows? We'll even convince Rachel that we want... that we want a bunch of rugrats running around. Please. My stomach, for God's sake. Hey, it's repulsive. Yes. But it's logical. First comes love. Then comes marriage. Then comes Paulina and a baby. Shut up. Come on, I know you can pull this off. Well, maybe I can't. Lying to Rachel is getting harder and harder. Give me a break. You lied to the whole damn world about plugging me in the chest. They're my family, Jake. I have to live with them the rest of my life. You can just walk away. Like you walked away when you left me bleeding on the floor? <sighs> Paulina, you owe me. Don't you ever forget that. Fine. Then you remember this. You don't get a red cent without me. Paulina. It's our money. Whatever you want with your app, which I would think that buying your freedom back for granted would be a really good idea. I just want this over. The sooner we get the dough, the sooner we get a divorce. The sooner the better. Hmm. Let's do it your way. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I mean, you are a natural. Convincing Rachel to give you shares in Corey Publishing, now that. I never work. asked Rachel for that. I would never even think about asking Rachel for that. And you got nothing to feel guilty about. Just for your information, I am not doing anything with the family business until you and I are ancient history. I don't want you having a hunk of that, too. That's all right. I got plenty as it is. You know, hmm. by the by, there's this big hole in your little scheme. What? What happens when nothing gets done? Rachel's going to know we pocketed the money. You got me there. You know, we can just... Start the arguments, and that's when we develop irreconcilable differences. Hell, we won't even know which way to split the house, though. Okay, honestly, Jake, I really don't feel right about doing this to Rachel right now. She just got out of the hospital. She's supposed to avoid stress, please. What stress? She's just going to buy her little baby and her hubby a little love nest. Stop, okay? All right, all right. Hold on. I'll do it. But if Rachel smells a rat, don't blame me. to go for it. Jake told you the floor hadn't been prepared yet. Well, Ed Brooks was there. He's, he's an important agent. I was trying to make an impression. Oh, looks like you did that. <laughs> he could have launched a whole new career for me. Olivia, you were brilliant last night. There was another reason, too. What? You were there. Olivia, you do not have to impress me. I kept thinking, you know, about how we said that real artists never do anything less than their best. 
And I didn't want to disappoint you by being dishonest. Olivia. Did anybody call Aunt Liz? Uh, Amanda called Aunt Liz. Is she on the warpath? I guess we'll find out. She's on her way over here. No. Sam, promise me you won't let her in this room. I don't want to see her. Okay, I can okay, hear her okay. screaming already. Olivia, promise me. Olivia, I will me. tell her that you're resting when she comes, okay? I only want to see you and my friends, no one else. Okay, I'll, I'll tell the nurses that. Okay. Okay. I knew you'd understand. Yeah. Listen, I have to leave for a while. You do now? Yeah. I, I have to go get cleaned up. <laughs> Is there anything that you need? Yeah, I need, I need the passbook for my savings account, but it's over at Liz's, so it could be a little tricky. Why do you need that? Well, the doctors and the hospital weren't too thrilled that I wasn't carrying medical insurance, so I have to give them some money. Olivia, I think that can wait. Your father used to be on the staff here. He'll probably take care of the bills himself. No, I will not accept any help from my father. Or Aunt Liz. They'll just never let me live this down. This Sam. was an accident. Why? They won't see it that way, trust me. Can you get the book, please? This is not something that you should be worried about right now. Let me take care of the bills. With what? I'm not going to. No. It's decided, okay? Sam. Stop making yourself a nervous wreck. This is what friends are for. It's no big deal, okay? Yes, it is. I don't know what I'd do if I Good morning. Hi. Hi, John. Do you have any news for me? Actually, I just went over your MRI with the orthopedic and neurosurgeons. And? You have a good idea what your prognosis is. I know Ryan means well. Oh, come on, Grant. It is a great idea. How can I let people think I'm trying to take his girlfriend? No, 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 no. You see, it's going to be more like I'll be your hostess. My hostess. Right. Oh, come on. Please, just think about it before you go and kick me out of here. All right, look, I don't like the idea a whole lot more than you do, but I am doing it for Ryan. Why does Ryan think I need someone? Because he doesn't want you to keel over before the election. What, are you supposed to be, my babysitter? Do I look like I'm dressed for child care? Wait, well, look, would you please give me this? You're driving me nuts with this thing. I will do it. Just be careful. All right, relax, relax. I know what I'm doing. Oh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. No kidding. <laughs> Tickles a little bit. <laughs> the way I see it, you and Ryan like to make life a lot more difficult than it has to be. Mm. Well, so stubborn, you know. I actually think that's why you don't get along. Who says we don't get along? I have eyes. Although I think most of it has to do with your father. I think he started this whole feud when Ryan was still in the crib. Ryan and I are very different, you uh, know. Uh, you're both crusaders. You know, Ryan's a, approach to crime fighting is much more hands-on than mine. I don't know. Careful. Uh -huh. You've mm -hmm. both taken some bullets. Come on, Grant. Just think about it, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be a liability or anything. Somehow I cannot think of you with the head of the junior league. Ah, <laughs> she'll be putty in my hands. You know... I can be nice to just about anybody for Ryan. Good. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Hey. Ha. Mm -hmm. Well, not bad. Right. So, how about we just play this thing out and see how it goes? Okay, well. Oh, no. Why aren't you ready? Good morning to you, too, Dad. I know I should have gotten here earlier. We still have to go over your speech, and the TV crew is already There's setting up. plenty of time. And where's Ryan? Oh, leave it to Ryan to miss your big moment. You know, Spence, as much as I like you, I'm getting really sick of all this garbage about Ryan. Rachel, I'm going to help you through this. I don't want to involve anybody else, Michael. I know what you've been through. I know what you're going through. I know the price you're paying. I wish it was only me. Well, if it means anything, I believe you're doing the right thing. I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm just trying to protect my family. Look, I understand why you don't want to tell your family. I can't tell them. Not about the ice. I just don't know how long you can hide it. As long as I have to. Until we can put Carl behind bars permanently. No, 
Don't call me. We don't have to look like Jack and Jill. We're newlyweds. We should be all over each other. Morning, Rachel. Oh, we don't want to interrupt. We can come back. Uh, no, that's okay. I really uh, have to be going anyway. Uh, I've got to talk to Donna. I will give you a call later on, oh, right? Oh, well, good luck. Good Take luck. care. We'll see you. Right. So, how are you feeling? Oh, they just have to tie me down this morning. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. <laughs> we have something that is really exciting that we want to share with you, don't we? Oh, <laughs> what is making you so happy today, Jake? Why, Vicky, I hardly recognized you. You're wearing so much clothing. Ryan asked Vicky to be here. You see, Ryan is at a very important meeting in Washington, D.C., with the FBI. Mm. That is why he couldn't be here. He couldn't wait until the press conference was over? What is with you? You're more concerned about keeping up appearances than you are about putting Carl away for Dad, good? Ryan had a great suggestion. What? He's joining your campaign? No. Vicky is. Vicky? What exactly are you going to do? I'm just going to be available whenever a woman's you? touch. Look, Ryan just thought it would be really nice if I... I like it. You do? Why wouldn't I? You're stunning, you're quick, you have the right family background. I do? Mm -hmm. what, what's that? A beautiful mother and a rich, influential father. Huh. Yeah. You see, maybe Ryan didn't have such a bad idea after all. Well, first of all, we, we want to thank you for letting us stay here. <laughs> well, Pauline has been an enormous help. You really have a knack for organization and, and details, doesn't she? I'll say. I'm just really glad I could help, Rachel. Yeah. Well, a lot of unexpected things have happened for us this week. I mean, this big house and uh, Allie and Stephen. I mean, we find that all we, we talk about when we're together is kids. kids. <laughs> You're talking about starting a family? Well, I'm crazy about kids, and they like me, so... <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not following. Well, now that, now that we're married, we just like to make it happen. You want kids now. Always did. Just wasn't possible before. Don't you have a lot to work out before you start well, having kids? Well, once the video business starts going, I'm sure that I'm going to be set financially. Oh, gosh, I wish I believed that. No, well, well, we know that sometimes if you want children and you wait, well, then you can't have them. So we'd like to get started. Well, you have years to raise a family. Why rush? I want a lot. A lot. Two. Five. You may change your mind after you have the first one. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, my gosh, you're pregnant. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no. no uh, we just know that if we want to start a family, we need more room. Right, and, and our townhouse already seems small since we've been camping out here. Oh, oh you want to stay here? Well, we'd love that. No, we'd like to get a home of our own. Oh, but not I see. Until you're feeling better. Well, why are we talking about this now, then? You definitely have a herniated disc. Essentially, what that means is, is that the little pad that sits between the body of the vertebrae has slipped out posteriorly or towards the back, and that's pressing against the spinal cord. That's what's causing all the pain and the numbness in your legs and also your inability to move them. It hurts even when I try. John. What can you do to help her, John? Well, we all agree that the best approach right now is a conservative approach. What's that? Strict bed rest. Do I have to stay here? I'm afraid so. Oh, no. Now, I've given you medication to help with the spasms and also to control the pain. Oh, will staying in bed relieve any of the pressure? Sometimes. But sometimes a herniated disc doesn't heal with bed rest alone. Then what? And we consider surgery. Surgery? But only as a last resort. Your cases generally don't require it. Am I going to be able to dance again? For now, definitely not. But in the long term, we'll just have to wait and see. How long? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, everybody heals at a different rate. But you'll be walking around just fine. I don't know what I'll do. I have to be able to dance again. No. Dancing is just okay. my home. Right. Give us a moment. No, I want him to stay. Just a moment. OK. Outside the door. Don't go home yet. I won't. A 
Amanda told me what happened. I hope you're satisfied. She wanted to do the video, Liz. It was her choice. You can look me in the eye and pretend that's all there was to this fall. Well, you have to live with yourself. Olivia doesn't want to see you of today. Of course she wants She asked me to tell you that she wasn't up to it, okay? She saw you. She still can't let go. <laughs> Even though I told her I saw you and Amanda kissing. You told her that? The day before yesterday, I felt she had a right to know. Now, you really do look lovely in all of them, dear, but if you ask me, I really prefer the red one. I have to look perfect for this, Bridget. It's a campaign appearance. It's not of the inauguration. What? Nothing, dear. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, not one of these dresses is right. This one. I wore this to the horse show. I was with my whole family, Michael, Marley, Stephen, Mikey. It's too much history. What about this one? Oh, heavens, no. Look at these sleeves. They're too fussy. But, uh, look, it, you're going to be late if you don't make a decision pretty oh. soon. Oh, what? I'll get it here. You get dressed, for heaven's sake. Oh, Mr. Hi, Michael. Bridget, how are you? Look, I've got some papers for oh, Donna. Come in. Oh, thanks. I'll be in the other room. My, my, my. Having, having a tantrum, are we? I'm preparing for a date, and I don't have very much time. I see. Well, I, I got this feeling that you better cancel. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Well, Donna, you got work to do. What's all that? Well, this is the, uh, well, I got the annual report here. I've got spreadsheets. See, you wanted to be a part of my business. I mean, you wanted to be on the board of directors. So, uh, you need information to be that. And here it is. Fine. I'll get to it later. No, you should get to it today. No, I won't get to well, it today. Well, you got a board meeting this week, Donna. This week? Yes. This is all the notice I get? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's an emergency meeting. You see, someone gave the board the impression that I am involved in speculative real estate. Oh, really? Consequently, there is this emergency meeting, and they're going to be taking a vote on related issues. So, uh... If I were you, I'd study up. You're just doing this because you don't want me dating Spencer. Are you dating Spencer, or is this some kind of PR? You have to ask me. You're flaunting your new relationship with Rachel Corey all over town. Uh, 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 uh. Now, Donna, what's it going to be? Business or Spencer? We weren't going to tell you now, but we're starting to think ahead. Right. I mean, she, she overheard Marley and Jamie talking about their home. I think it put a bug in her ear. <laughs> uh, you want a house? Well, we started looking already. Yeah, the, the townhouse uh, next door to us is available. We'd like to expand, but I think it would cost a lot of money. So we just have to get a down payment together. Yeah, what with Olivia out in the video, it could take a little while to get back on track. Yeah. Well, is there something you're not telling me? She'll understand. Would it be possible to get an advance on my marriage trust? <laughs> ah, well, I certainly could call Cass, and uh, he'll drop the papers, but you know there's a legal waiting time. <gasps> Thank mm. you, Rachel. That would be yeah, wonderful. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Swell. Well, it is Paulina's money. Right, I, I know that. And you know something? Once the, the video gets back on track, I'm going to reimburse her every single cent. When will that be? Uh, a couple of weeks, but I, I don't want you to worry about that. Oh, I think we should let Rachel rest now. Right. I'm going to go check in on Olivia. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. talk to you later, Rachel. Thanks okay. again. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. Well, that was horrible. I can't believe it. She bought that hook, line, and sinker. Damn boy. All we did so far is ask. Olivia was despondent, or she never would have been so careless. What exactly did you tell Olivia? The truth. And I saw the two of you kissing. But you obviously cared for Amanda and probably always would. Why would you do that to her? Because I love her. I don't want you stringing her along one more minute. I was Not that she believed me, poor dear. I was going to tell her. Oh, when it was convenient for you. No, Liz. After the video. I figured she'd be able to handle it better then. Olivia is not a machine, Sam. She can't turn her emotions on and off as you can. Liz, I care about Olivia. 
Oh, heaven save us from that kind of caring. I warned you, the two of you, you wouldn't listen to me. Oh, no, Liz doesn't know anything. Okay. Now, Olivia's lying All in right. there paralyzed. Right. She may never dance. Olivia, Olivia is not paralyzed. She has a herniated disc. Would you keep your voice down? She's liable to hear every word you're saying. I want to see her. No. I'm her family. I'm sorry, Liz. I'll be back. Someday that girl will realize that I'm the only one who really loves her, and her father is going to hear about this, too. Probably hears it right now. Can we talk about it, Olivia for a minute? Sure, what do you want to know? John, give it to me straight. Will she be able to continue as a professional dancer? Can't answer that just yet. Is it possible? Yes. I would say that it's possible, but she's going to have to learn to follow orders, and it's not going to be easy. So there really is a chance, right? Look, Sam, for someone like Olivia, who is used to seven or eight hours of intense movement every day, this bed rest is going to be torture. It's going to be very rough on her. Okay, Listen, thanks a lot. Can I go back in? Yeah, she's waiting. Okay. I just spoke to Liz. I guess you heard. I wanted to tell you about Amanda. Something the matter? Don't want to do your homework? You just don't want me seeing Spencer. No, no, I don't care who you see. You can date Donald Trump. You can date Donald Duck. But you've got work to do, so if I were you, I'd get down and do it. I never knew you were so vindictive, Michael. Good luck, Donna. There's going to be a lot of questions for you at the board meeting. Oh, Hate Donna. you, Michael oh. Hudson. Oh, Miss Donna. Oh. You still love him, don't oh, you? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Bridget. Besides, he's taken up with Rachel Corey. Well, the two of you are getting a divorce, my dear. I mean, he's bound to go out with other women. I thought Stacy was bad enough. But she's a lightweight compared to Rachel. Rachel Corey? She's a contender? She's probably been lying in wait for him ever since Mac died. Well, she can forget it. Well, what are you going to do? What I've always done, fight back. Oh, would you please tell Dirk to bring the car on? Well, what about your date with Mr. Harrison? I mean, what about Mr. Harrison? What, what about all those papers and all those things that have to be done? Be a dear. Read them for me. Tell me what they say when I get back. Oh, but, Miss... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Murray, everyone watches your show. Why else would I be calling you? Oh, he's much better, thank you. But the people need to see his face. Now tell me, Murray, when's the soonest you can give him a segment, huh? Be careful around the crowds. You're not that steady yet. Well, we can just dress up some aides and, and dress them like reporters, and then we'll use them as a buffer. I don't want you standing for any extended periods of time. You can eat regular meals, but nothing off the food list I gave you earlier. Okay, okay. And you've <laughs> got to get some sleep. Well, no problem. All I have to do is walk around here, and I'm ready to collapse. Here's some medication. Be sure and take it. No, no, I better not. I've got to keep a clear mind. Thank you. I have to finish my rounds. I'll see you later. Oh, John. Yeah. Thank you again. Sure. Thanks, Uncle John. Bye, Vicki. Bye. See? You're perfect. Yeah? Yes. Eight minutes on Sunday would be perfect. All right, Murray. We'll talk details later. Okay. Bye-bye. Grant, I just got you a segment on current events. I know. I now heard. Listen, listen, listen. They want you to concentrate on the anti-crime stuff. And you have to field a lot of questions about what happened to you. I know, but think of all the free press you're going to be getting. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Now it's time to go down to the lobby for your press conference. You're going to be very impressed by the crowd, son. They've got a real hero's welcome waiting for you. Both your sons are heroes. I, I don't really want to melt this thing. Don't worry. Now, Vicky, what's keeping your mother? Well, I, I don't know why. Is she coming? I invited her personally. Oh. I'll check the lobby again. Your father, my mother, that is a really odd couple. Huh. No odder than you and me. 
Oh, good. You got my message. Olivia doesn't want to see anybody? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. How is she? Not good. She has a herniated disc. Is that serious? We won't know for a few days. She, uh, she just has to rest and give her back a chance to heal. Why did this have to happen to her now? I know. She never danced better. So nobody could take their eyes off her. I was watching him thinking, this is great. She's not going to have any problems when Sam and I get back together. Yeah, I know. What is it you're not telling her? Jake specifically told her not to dance like that or do that jump. Okay, so why did she? I asked her that, and she said it was because some agent was there or something. I don't know. All right, well, that makes sense. I thought so, too. Until Liz showed up. Amanda, she informed me that she saw you and me kissing and that she told Olivia about it. What? When? Out by the pool the night before the rehearsal. Oh, Aunt Liz, why can't she ever keep her mouth shut? Amanda, this is not good. What do you mean? I talked to Olivia before she went on. She started asking me questions. About what? Somebody took her to the set before she had a chance to say much, but I think she wanted to know how I felt about you. And she already knew. I think she did. Maybe that's why she fell. Ed Brooks thought you were brilliant. Why did I land gracefully? He's a super agent. He thought you were hot as hell, and he has seen the best. You're just trying to cheer me up. You're right. I am, but you were sensational. Lorna got him a copy of the rehearsal video, so he, uh, he knows what you can do. <laughs> She shouldn't have wasted her time. From what John tells me, it'll be a long time hey, before I hey, do any dancing. Hey. You're young. You're healthy. And you've had enough protein drinks to last both of us. Jake, I'm trying to face this. So... You are going to get healthy so fast, doctors are going to be lining up to take credit for it. Has your friend got a name? Sam brought him over. You know, I think that I was wrong. I think that I was wrong about Sam going back to Amanda. I mean, he, he rode with me in the ambulance, and he slept in that chair all night long. Yeah, you, uh, you gave us a pretty good scare. Mm -hmm. And you see what happened. Sam couldn't leave me. If she thought that you and I were getting back together, why wouldn't she say something to you? I don't know. Maybe she was waiting for a better time to talk. Maybe she just couldn't handle it. She always said I never got over you. When are you going to tell her? She uh, should hear it from you. Amanda, I don't think that she could handle it right now. Not on top of the accident. It, and she may not even have a career anymore. Why don't we talk to Jamie? Maybe this thing isn't as long-term as everybody thinks. What do we do in the meantime? I guess we stay on hold. Maybe that's the best thing to do. We, we have the rest of our lives, right? I just don't want to hurt her any more than I have to. Why do things always have to come between us? Maybe so we won't take each other for granted. Well, I got my checkbook. Let's see here. You're paying Olivia's hospital bill? I told her I would. A A Aunt Liz and Russ have plenty of money. She doesn't want to accept help from them. Are you worried about the money? No, of course not. I, I just think that Olivia is really dependent on you. Are you sure this is a good idea? Amanda, she was there when I needed help. I cannot turn my back on her now. Good person, Sam. Yeah, so are you. Cass, this is Rachel. Oh, so so. Uh, well, it's about Paulina's inheritance. I think maybe you better start the paperwork on it. Ah, not, not, not too fast. 
The slower, the better. How do I look? Like a senator. Women will stand in line to vote for you. Are you ready to face your public? Well, why not? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Maybe we should get a wheelchair. We could go for the FDR touch. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm going to do this by myself, all right? I hear some of these people have been waiting out here for an hour. And they won't be disappointed. Grant's got a speech ready that'll knock their socks off. Grant, good luck. Thanks, John. Sounds like the natives are getting restless. You better <clears throat> move if you want to make the 12 o'clock news. You must be very proud. Oh, I am. More today than ever. Ryan just arrested Carl Hutchins. That was his job, wasn't it? Well, no one else managed it. Donna, Grant is going to go all the way to the top. <sighs> Congressman Harrison has just greeted the crowd of reporters waiting for him inside Bay City General. We're told several hundred people have gathered outside on the hospital steps. We have him live. Thank you very much. This is the congressman's first appearance since he was shot by a would-be assassin. How are you doing, congressman? Yeah, I feel like a new man. Were those bullets a warning to back off organized crime? Well, I, if they were, they backfired. <laughs> <laughs> I have a statement that I'd like to uh, this afternoon. You know, one of the I'm going to get you back, Grant. Five more weeks and we'll be together. Lawlessness and aggression, whether it's outside our borders or in our city.